What's good, y'all? Your boy Ross back at again with another video. So, we gotta check out. Apparently, Vince McMahon is supposed to be starting some new entertainment company. As y'all know, um, they, you know, TKO Holdings is uh, not pretty much allowing Vince to be a part of anything WWE related, obviously, with the whole Janelle Grant situation and, you know, trying to see how that's going to play out. They've pretty much told Vince, you got to stay home. You can watch the product, but you can't be a part of the product, can't show up to the shows, none of that. You got to stay at home. So knowing Vince, Vince is not the type to stay at home and just you wait till you know things you know play out you know vince likes to be proactive so apparently he's uh, starting another entertainment company so we're gonna see what's going on here you know vince he's he's not the type to give up on anything he's gonna keep fighting to he can't fight no more and his his way of fighting i'm guessing is pretty much uh you know starting up a new entertainment company and you know vince is he's he's been about entertainment more than wrestling since the beginning but reports are vince mcmahon is launching an entertainment company enlisting former wwe personnel interesting we make movies was vince mcmahon's description of wwe's main product in the 1999 film beyond the mat and now it looks like uh the uh the disgraced former wwe chairman is set to enter the entertainment field following his exit from the tko group holdings According to PW Insider, McMahon is setting up a new entertainment company alongside former WWE executive Brad Blum and Kristen uh, Prouty will be involved in the company. Blum was McMahon's chief, chief of staff before McMahon's first retirement in 2022 when both men exited the company. Blum returned with McMahon uh, when the former WWE chairman returned in 2023 to facilitate the merger of the UFC and WWE under Endeavor, then resigned his position in May. The new entertainment company will not compete with TKO Group Holdings. It is said to be focused on fiction and nonfiction products, likely meaning movies and television, keeping it far from the sports entertainment world of pro wrestling and mixed martial arts. The company will uh, reportedly be based in Los Angeles, California. McMahon resigned from his WWE and TKO duties in January following the rele revelation of a civil suit against him. John Laurinaitis, WWE, and unnamed corporate office, uh, officers for their role in the sexual abuse, harassment, and trafficking of former employee Janelle Grant. Uh, McMahon, Laurinaitis, and WWE are currently awaiting the results of a federal investigation into any possible crimes uh, criminal charges that could stem from Grant's allegations. On top of Grant's allegations, McMahon, uh, his wife, Linda, WWE, and TKO group holdings are currently uh, the subject of a civil suit claiming ne uh, ne uh, negligence in the infamous Ring Boy scan, a uh, Ring Boy scandal, which I did hear about, of the early '90s, which alleges Vince and Linda knew of, knew of, and did nothing about a uh, ring announcer, uh, Mel Phillips, sexual abuse of minors. And what's crazy, that kind of came back to the light, to the forefront with the. Mr. McMahon documented. I didn't know about the whole Ring Boy situation. I never knew any of that. So I only found that out from the documentary. And now that it's resurfaced and a lot of people are talking about it, it's being brought up again. It's not looking too good. Um, but am I surprised by this? No. We know Vince has always been more about the entertainment. I mean, that's one of the reasons why his dad wasn't liking some of the things that he was doing. Because it was about the entertainment. Why you think he was cool and wanted Hulk Hogan to be out there and be in movies? He he wants that because that's he knows that's where the money is. The entertainment. That's why it's always been about that. It wasn't about the wrestling. The wrestling was there, but it was more so about the stories, the entertainment factor of it. Why you think you got we got so many crazy storylines? Not because he just wanted to have some compelling television. He knew that the stories would be what gets people to stick around. The crazier the story is, the better the ratings and the, the more people that's going to tune in. So I guess you can say he, he, I mean, when I think of compelling, 
I don't think of some of the stuff that they were doing back in the Attitude Era. It was entertaining. It was fun. He loved to see it. It was chaos. And he knew it worked at that time period. So I guess you can say he kind of had a grasp of what people wanted to see. But ultimately, as he got older, he definitely lost the grasp or lost the plot of what is entertainment. Uh, Vince's entertainment is kind of slapstick humor, kind of the corny stuff, the, the the obvious stuff that we've seen so many times. But, you know, that's what he started to, you know, want it, want it, wanting the product to be kind of in his vision like it's always been. So I am glad that he isn't involved anymore because Vince's form of entertainment isn't entertaining in my personal opinion. And the question is, Will the movies and the TV shows work? Because, I mean, we've seen it with WWE Studios and how that work out. Like, them trying to produce their own movies and stuff like that. And a lot of that stuff wasn't good. Not everybody can be an actor. Not, not everybody can create, in, you know, compelling stories on the big screen. You may be able to do something with the wrestling world. But when it comes to actually trying to put on a TV show or a movie that actually has a good script and compelling characters, Vince doesn't have the best track record. But more or less, like I said at the beginning of this video, this seems more like Vince is grabbing at anything to just do something. Because right now, the one thing that he loved to do, the one thing that I'm sure he thought he was going to die doing was being a part of the WWE product and being a part of what we see on wwe television now that he can't do it he has to do something Vince is not the type to take an extended vacay on some private island somewhere no vince is not that type vince is the type that's going to want to do something because if he ain't doing something then that's probably for him like death i mean he said it in the in mcmahon documentary he doesn't People that just sit there and retire or whatever, like he just looks at them as weak. He just sit there and die. That's how he is. So for him, hiring some people that he he trusts and know that were former WWE employees and starting up some type of entertainment company, that sounds about right. Just so he don't just you know lose himself and gives him something to do before you know the feds start really coming after him. So I don't know. It's it is what it is. You know. I'm not surprised. But comment down below. Let me know um, how y'all feel about this, you know, this revelation that Vince McMahon is now uh, starting up an entertainment company. And real question here, real question. If Vince was able to get a movie or a TV show off the ground, would y'all actually watch it? Would y'all actually support it? Would y'all actually just check it out to see if it's actually good or not? Y'all let me know down below. I appreciate all love and support. Road to 150K. Appreciate y'all kicking it with me. See y'all next one. Peace.